slightly less or doesn't perform quite as well don't really bother me that much which after all these are being emulated yeah it, it's an emulation obviously it works very well but probably not as good as the original hardware which is the case with everything emulation's good yes never as good as the original hardware though Oh, Balmor. Oh. Why? What? Wait, why can't I go? What? Can I go around? I saw a door. I want to go through the door. Ah, here we go. Wait, there's another bin I can kick. Hey, ya! Another worthless seed. Where's this take us? Woo! Well, I don't mind this. Flare bomb. Hawkeye. What the fuck? I can grab it. Wait, what? Let go. Grab it here. I'm very confused. Oh, I can pull it! Ew! Oh, there we go. Ooh! This is a fancy chest. We got three magma fragments. Not bad. Um, what's Hawkeye do? Bum 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 bum. Whoa, Berserker's necklace. What? Hawkeye. That's good. Yeah, it's basically... Essentially Libra. Like, if you're thinking of Final Fantasy, it's basically Libra. So, yeah, pretty damn, pretty damn useful. Anyway. Oh, Jesus. Alright, can we go up? Yeah! Good, you're here. The I asked you here for only one reason. Hold on. What is it? Oh, oh no. Great, here he comes. <gasps> Holy crap. Hey, whoa, 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 hey, hey, you are really short tempered. Hey, I don't have a sword, okay? Easy. Why are you here? I told you I'm just a messenger. I, I came to see if you really come or not, which you have, so that's good. That's enough, Kaim. I just realized I'm wearing so earrings. Awesome. I'm guessing they're Hawkeye. A little late, though. We can use him. He's cunning and quick, and he has many connections. I want you to take him on your investigation of Grand Staff. No way, sir. You know I thought he'd say that, my lord. <laughs> His shoes, hello? Look, this other immortal joining the investigation, she might be dangerous. Why? The woman was once a pirate. I don't know how it happened, but she's now a soldier for our army. Well, the past is the past, and I know little else about her. Hmm. Take Jensen with you. He can help keep her in check. Despite what else he may be, he has a healthy respect for women. Ah. <sighs> so, you know, I heard she was a looker, if you catch my drift. I mean, you've seen her, right? Okay, okay, be that way. <sighs> you guys are way too serious. Hmm. Pirate. Oh dear. All right. Understood. All right, then. I'll be there early. Oh, yeah. You can count on it. Remember, Kaim. You're the only one I can trust. Aside from Jansen, of course. I can't leave here for a while. 
The Grand Staff is my life's work. So if something is wrong, I want you, with your immortal powers, to find out what it is. Understood? Hmm. You'll be briefed later. You should go now. I'll be right behind you. Great. <laughs> I actually begin to... Fun to work with. You begin to like Jensen. Wow, nice. You know, my lord, I've been thinking, uh, working with this guy, uh, it's like playing with fire. I mean, did you see his eyes? I mean, that's creepy. I got a bad feeling about this whole thing. I mean, this little guarantee is not going to be enough, I'm afraid, to keep an eye on him. You're going to have to give me a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. You're already under a magic contract. Don't get greedy. Wow! Whoa, hey, okay, that's some serious mojo. Easy, easy. Is your fee still unsatisfactory? Okay, not funny. I'm not laughing, okay? I didn't stick my neck out for this, okay? Jeez, everyone's a pain in the ass. I'm taking a bath. <laughs> Ew. I like the lower lip quiver. Lovely. Okay, so we're back in Gongara's uh, mansion. And it's a lab. Yay! <laughs> oh, whoops. I'd like if it was always like this. I don't like the the other view. Not really. Do 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 do. Oh, here we go. And now is when we get to talk to Seth. Hey, I've been looking everywhere for you. <laughs> what a dick! I heard about the Grand Staff investigation. Looks like we both got the short end of the stick. It's not enough that we just keep surviving, eh? <sighs> There's always something. So, what did you learn in the council? Nothing to do with you. <laughs> really? Say, haven't we met somewhere before? Hmm? Ugh. Nothing to worry about if you can't remember. Neither can I. You too, huh? I can't recall a thing. All I know is that my name seems to be Seth Balmore. People say I used to be a pirate. <sighs> Isn't it strange that both of us lost our memory and are immortal? <laughs> Maybe we met a long time ago. I sort of get that feeling when I look at you. Hmm. When we met before, were we enemies? Or allies. <laughs> or maybe even lovers. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to starting our journey tomorrow, Kaim Arganar. Tomorrow? You still haven't been contacted by the council? You set out for Grand Staff tomorrow morning. I thought you would have heard by now. Oh, and by the way, I'll be joining you on your little trip. So you are going with me then? Being late is strictly forbidden. <laughs> oh my god. He just looks confused. <laughs> yeah, but he just looks puzzled. Like, what the hell is happening? Alright. Well, as that, we have met Jensen and we have met Seth. Meet our party. It seems the shadows in this game just like to fucking glitch the hell out. I don't know why. Oh god. Oh yeah, where am I going? Here we go. Back to the inn. There we go. Tolson's inn. Welcome back, I received a message from the council earlier. You are to report to the Great Gate for your next mission. Yada yada yada. If you head to the station, you can either take the monorail or pick up a taxi to the Great Gate. 
Be careful. We're not really bothered whichever. Well, actually, no, they'll be just as quick as one another. I would assume. Well, oh, pardon me. Ah, here. Ugh, more posters. Yay! More posters. Yeah! All these seeds. Curious if there's any others. I don't think there are. Nope, they're all gone. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Ouch. Uh. Here we are. Wait, wait. Kick. Yeah. Cobalt stone. Hallelujah. What? You know what? My dad works in a magic production factory. He's the boss of the whole place. I'm not the boss of anything. Really. I'm glad she's proud of me though. Everything I do, I do for her. Oh. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I guess I'll do this and then I might have to go back down the stairs and save. Guess this might take a good few minutes to get through. Oh. Okay, I don't really quite like this. Little liar. Oh. Everyone in the marketplace hates the little girl, not yet ten years old and far from having outgrown the sweet innocence of childhood. She earns only open contempt from the grown-ups who have shops in the market. The reason is simple. She lies about everything. Hey mister, I just saw a burglar go into your house. Look lady, everything just fell off of your shelves. Hey everybody, did you hear what the traveller said? Bandits are planning to attack this market. Even the most harmless white lies can be annoying if repeated often enough, and the shopkeepers have found themselves growing angry. You'd better watch out for her too, the lady greengrocer warns Kaim. Nobody here falls for her lies anymore, so she's always on the lookout for newcomers or strangers. Somebody like you would be a perfect target for her. She could be right. Kaim is new to the town. He arrived a few days ago and he just started working in the marketplace today. What do her parents do? Kaim asks while unloading a cart full of vegetables. The woman frowns and shakes her head with a sigh. She doesn't have any. They died? The mother did at least, maybe four or five years ago. She was a healthy young woman who never so much caught a cold in her life, then one day she collapsed and that was it for her. What about the father? Or how about the father? She sighs more deeply than before and says he left to find a job in the city. Wait, what? The parents used to operate a variety store in the market, though the mother almost single-handedly took care of the actual buying and selling of most of the goods of the many goods they carried. As soon as she died, the shop's fortune took a plunge until it was eventually taken over by someone else. The father went off to the distant capital city in search of a good paying job that would enable him to cover their debts. He promised to come back in six months, but he has been gone a, while, a whole year now. Letters used to arrive from him on occasion care of his friend the tailor, but those two gave out about six months ago. I guess you could say it's sad for such a little girl to be waiting around for her father to come home, but still, the girl now sleeps in a corner of the communal storehouse run by the people of the marketplace. We all used to talk about taking care of her, but to be standing parents for her until her father comes back? 